What's happening, people? Good afternoon, and welcome to uh, a little on set with Matt Lapinskus, who plays Anthony Moon. That's me. Um, I'm going to talk today about a few questions that you've emailed in, and also uh, the end of fight week and uh, what's going to happen to the Moon family, the Moon clan. Michael's doing his uh, mischievous ways again, but yeah, let's see what happens. Today, I did a little scene in the calf with. Um, my on-screen brother, Tyler and Anthony, so it's back with Tony. Um, but obviously I can't say too much about that, you have to watch to find out, so keep watching, keep glued. But um, this week, obviously, fight week, big week, big week for the Moon Clan. Um, obviously Michael's trying to disrupt the family and sort of like, needing his way in there and sort of corrupt the family by uh, making Anthony gamble all the money, setting up Tyler to lose, putting him in hospital, and obviously he's got his, um, condition stuff and everything now so we don't really know what's going to happen between the family are they going to reconnect are they going to break apart has michael triumphed and stuff it's a baby in a pram it's not really a baby in a pram it's a doll um yeah so what's going to happen um hopefully the moons will come back on top but obviously you have to keep glued to watch out but it's been a pleasure pleasure working with david essex top bloke love you um and yeah, things have been really good, but it's a big, 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 big time for the Moon family now, and hopefully you're enjoying it at home. So, my first day on set, um, slightly nervous, but wasn't as nervous as um, I think other, other, as Tony was, because I got to do E20, luckily enough. They um, asked me to do an episode of E20, which I did with um, the great uh, Steve McFadden, who's my mentor, who plays Phil Mitchell, top geezer. And um, yeah, it was nice to sort of interact in the Vic with um, some great, great young actors like myself and um, it was good fun good fun and a good breaking sort of thing sort of broke the ice and let me sort of delo down and melt into the sort of scenario which is EastEnders and sort of broke me in which was really nice really 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 pleased with that um, it's on next week on the 20th on the Tuesday make sure you tune in it'll be on uh, the website so click on keep clicking click 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 and watch 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 because there's a very good talent there and um, it's a great series so make sure you watch it so Tony Discipline, dun dun dun. My on-screen brother. Um, couldn't have asked for a better brother, really. He's a fantastic guy in real life. We get on so well. Um, when we first came, our first auditions they actually paired us together, so there was like early chemistry, which was quite fun. Um, we've become best of friends, really. Um, we got our dressing rooms next to each other. We're always in the mornings, sort of knocking on the walls to make sure we're in. Got great banter between each other. Um, I play guitar, um, I like to write my own songs and sing as well and um, I've got a guitar in my dressing room and Tony's started to learn the guitar now so he's strumming away, always coming in and nicking my guitar and going away but yeah no, we, we hang out together, I've met his family, he's met my family so it's, we've really got a great bond and um, yeah, couldn't have asked for a better on screen brother so, love you time. Okay so I've had a few questions emailed in um, for my on set with Mr Matt Lipinskis today. Um, this is from Mary Russell. It says, you're shipped to a desert island. What would you bring with you and why? That's a very good question, Mary. What would I bring with me and why? It's a very good question. I'd bring with me, I would bring with me either my guitar or a football. Just so I can muck around. But that's probably not logical. I'd probably have to bring food with me or water because that's like the clever option, isn't it? But yeah, I'd probably be stupid and bring something like that. I'd bring like a suitcase with nothing in it or a big machete to cut things and, and chop up wood with but that's a money lad one and I um, I'd probably take my dad actually me and my dad would go we'd have a great time be a laugh yeah next one is from Billy Lomas um, if I could store anything in, <laughs> if you could store anything in your belly button what would it be? it's a very interesting question anything, anything in my belly button what can I store in my belly button? I'd have like an everlasting supply of chocolate, I think. It'd be quite sick just to pull out chocolate from your belly button. I know it's a bit dirty, you'd have to brush it off. Uh, but yeah, it'd be all right, you know, just that everlasting bit of chocolate. It's like, hey, you want some chocolate? Mm, there you go, oh, chocolate. Or, or like, uh, yeah, chocolate. I like chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully we get to chat together soon. Um, got some work tonight I've got to do to get on with I've got to go and uh, get some new things so um, I better pop off mm, leg out um, anyway you enjoy it in here it's a lovely place there's some tea and stuff in there but I'll come get you next week okay but um, if anyone rings like, don't, don't tell them where I am just, just stay in there so see you later bye bye